Hey guys, welcome to another Sony Vex tutorial brought to you by Techtopia. Today we will be quickly and effectively rendering our videos in high definition so that when we upload them to YouTube, they get that little watch in HD link like all my other videos have. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy to do, but it does take quite a while to render and compress and upload and stuff, so you got to be patient. But for quality this good, uh, it is well worth it. But anyways, uh, I got a clip of me, it's just on the timeline, and let's just say it's got all my effects and uh, transitions and other plugins uh, already applied and it's ready for export. Now what you're going to do is go up here to File, Render As, and one sec. Now when this pops up, call it whatever you want, I'll just call it Test HD. Now for Save As Type, uh, you can really use like virtually any type that's a video one, but the ones that work best are WMV, MP4, or AVI. Those all will work out fine, but for this example, I'll use WMV. So I'm on my WMV uh, type or container, uh, which it is also called. And now for template, we're going to change this to 6 megabytes per second HD 72030p video. Okay? Now make sure render loop region only is unchecked. Now you can go to custom over here. Um, and then have project at video rendering quality best audio uh, include audio checked mode CBR format uh, Windows Media Audio 9.2 now if you click this you might notice that you can actually change that to Windows Media Audio 10 which sounds like the right thing to do but however with uh, my personal experience Windows Media Audio 10 um, often uh, messes up the audio adds uh, random white noise to it and it doesn't sound too good so I just leave it at Windows Media Audio 9.2 and then have the attribu attributes at 192 kilobytes per second 48 kilohertz stereo AV CBR and now under your video tab make sure it's on CBR format Windows Media Video 9 image size now this is very important keep it at 1280 by 720 that's a uh, high definition 1280 by 720 if it's anything lower than that YouTube will not have that watch in HD thing to appear so it's very important that you keep it like that. Now have the frame rate at in FPS at 29.970 NTSC, seconds per keyframe at 5, override default compression buffer in seconds checked and have it at 8, and have video smoothness at 100. Now for bitrate, leave it at internet slash LAN, and then index and summary, you can fill in these details if you want, but it's uh, pretty pointless. Then you're just going to hit OK, and then you just save it, and uh, there you go, you're rendering your video in HD. Now, when you upload it to YouTube, um, it will take quite a while. And uh, after it is done uploading and you can view it, uh, the Watch in HD link won't appear until about 20 minutes or so uh, after your video is uploaded. So, before you start freaking out at me, um, just upload your video and then wait like at least an hour or until it shows up. And then uh, if it's been like a few hours and your watch an HD link doesn't show up, then you did it wrong. So make sure that you wait a few moments before the watch an HD link appears before you start uh, sending your hate mail to me. So, But this method does work. I uh, hope it works out for you. And uh, well, it will work out for you if you do it right. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching this little tutorial and see you guys later.